Good morning, Daddy. Look at my ladies. Look at this one. <laughs> Whoa, hello. 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 What kind of videos are we making? Hello, cover up, cover up. No tricks. Hey, Patty. Okay, so what do you do when you go camping on Labor Day weekend? You renovate your trailer. So these are the windows, these little partial curtain sliders. We're getting rid of these in our bedroom. So let's go back here. I have already removed the side panels and the blinds. And see everybody's outside preparing. We're making curtains out of bed pillows. And we're using tension rods up under and that's going to leave a, a lot of issues with these curtains and blinds that just get in your way so i'd like to take credit for this but i can't our friends barb and dave who are out here helping us they also have a hummingbird they did it in there so they gave us the idea so we ran to walmart got the supplies and this is what we're doing right now Okay, here are our finished curtains made out of pillowcases. You can see this is the top of the pillowcase. It makes like a little ruffle, and they just use little clip-on hooks, and then use two pillowcases. You can slide them open, or you can close them. And then here's the set back here, and now we don't have to worry about our heads with those blinds and all that other stuff. So. Um, these these need to be ironed, but we don't have an iron with us on the trip, so we'll get them ironed when we get home. I think they'll look a lot better. These were actually really cheap pillowcases um, from Walmart. We may eventually look for some that are a little nicer, but we wanted to see how this works. So we have a whopping $25 in both 
Well, he's already put herself to bed. So $25 to redo. We did save these window boxes and I think they look good. And um, so yeah, really good project. Thank you, Barb and Dave, for giving us the idea and helping us. Wow, what an amazing day. Um, we went to Cuyahoga, as you saw, and we hiked over to the Brandywine Falls. Had a really nice hike there. Um, we ran out of propane this morning, so we had to go get propane filled. And then when we came back and we hooked it up, I heard a hissing sound. And we've actually got a bad hose that goes from the tank to the trailer. So then we drove um, about 30 minutes south to Akron to a camping world only to find out they don't have the right hose. So we do not have propane the rest of the weekend, but we'll survive. Um, we have electricity here, so it's not a big deal. So anyway, we uh, we got our curtains put up, and now we're watching the, uh, the Purdue Boilermakers hanging tough. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a Purdue grad. I love my boilers more than anything. And we have been horrible for the last four years in football. And so right now it's uh, third quarter and we're actually beating the number 16 team in the nation. So I'm not sure how this one's going to turn out, but at any rate, it's much better than the last four years put together. So, all right, um, Delaney's already asleep and Patty's ready to go to bed. Although I think, um, I think I'm going to be able to keep her up till the end of the game as long as this game keeps going good. So... Uh, tomorrow we're going to head uh, hopefully down to Hudson, which is just down the road from us. They're having a uh, food festival. Check that out. And then we're going to do either some bike riding or hiking in the National Park tomorrow. So thanks for coming along again. Hope everybody's having a great Labor Day weekend. And let's close this one out. Hail Purdue. We'll see everybody on down the road. Good night. <laughs>